What does it say about the college co-ed Susan Fluke, who goes before a congressional committee and essentially says that she must be paid to have sex? What does that make her? It makes her a slut, right? That's Rush Limbaugh, if you haven't seen that clip yet. And he's talking about, but I'm also messing up the name of, Sandra Fluke, a law student from Georgetown. And she spoke as part of a panel on health and contraception up in Washington. This whole situation has been talked about a lot. But I wanted to bring this to all of y'all to not only share my reaction, but to also get an idea of how you feel about it. P.S. If you're wondering where the heck I am, I'm in the fabulous Denver, Colorado Econo Lodge today. March is Women's History Month, and there is a lot of talk about women's health going on in politics right now. And all of that, mixed with Russia's comments, makes for kind of a hostile and I think pretty scary situation for women right now. Am I right, ladies? This is partially about the name calling, because it is out of control, super offensive to call anybody a slut or a prostitute. But really, part of what makes those comments so offensive is the fact that they come as part of Russia's complete misunderstanding about the use of birth control. Sandra Fluke's original testimony had nothing to do with sex at all. Or even the pill as a use of birth control. The basis of her comments were about a friend who needed the pill as medication to prevent ovarian cysts, and how her friend's lack of access to it ended up resulting in the loss of one of her ovaries. But Rush Limbaugh took Sandra Fluke's statement and decided to turn it into a controversy to create attention for himself. And you know, in some way, I kind of get that because I'm a comedian and I see people on a regular basis trying to get attention by using just as offensive, if not more offensive language. And actually, you know, it's weird to kind of try to reconcile that. But do you know what the key to comedy is? It's timing. Really, I think it's Rush Limbaugh's timing on this that caused it to blow up and feel so hurtful. A few weeks ago, when Susan G. Komen pulled their funding from Planned Parenthood, you saw people reaching out and sharing info about it all over Facebook, Twitter, and other internets. Then, in February, and you might not have known about this one, there was a panel that was being held up in Washington about women's health and contraception. But there weren't any women on the panel. And this is actually where Sandra Fluke comes in. She was originally supposed to be part of that panel, but then not allowed to be there because she was, quote-unquote, not qualified. But frankly... I think having any she among a large group of he's would make her just as qualified, if not more qualified, to be there. So there was kind of a response panel that was held, and um, it was there that Sandra Fluke got to tell her story. All of this lady health stuff is being talked about and debated and handled in what I would consider to be a wickedly outdated way. So then to have somebody like Rush Limbaugh, who works day in and day out to be shocking, make some crappy ass comments, it's just... It's too much. It's so hurtful. And you know, I know some people are rushing, <laughs> pun, to defend Russia's free speech. And I absolutely believe in the right to free speech. But you know what? No one is dragging Rush off to jail for what he said. So if he's losing sponsors, and boy oh boy is he losing sponsors, this is just the other side of free speech. I just feel like, as humans, we are better than this. The whole debate, and more specifically, hurtful name-calling? I mean, really, and, and I can't even believe that I'm going to say this, but... Rush Limbaugh is better than that. Everybody is better than that. And I'm hopeful that the reaction to this whole debacle will shine a light on all of the conversation going on in this. And that the words that are being chosen, and the intent behind those words, can all start to be more respectful. But that's all I got for this week. So, ladies, is this an issue that's gotten you all riled up? Because I want to hear about it. And the same goes for you too, gentlemen. I want to hear about it too. Please, please, please share your perspective in the comments underneath this video. I want to hear from as many people as possible about this. And hey, since you're online already, you might as well go and like my Clearly SK Facebook page and share this video with all of your friends. But... Until seven days from now, I am Sarah Kennedy. I'll see you guys all next Wednesday.